Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this is totally non-laser related, but it is Corel related, and it has to do with printing. A young lady contacted me and wanted to put from 1 to 250 number on some cardstock, and when it was folded in half, the number would be in the center, and how to do it easily. And this is pretty easy if you have your Corel hooked up to your printer. So what you need to do first is change your page size to a printer page. So we'll make it 8.5 by 11. Now go to layout, insert page number on all pages. And it's going to put a one right there. But that's not big enough. So what you need to do is let's back up here. Let's change our, go to your text tool and change this to 320 points, bold, artistic, and center justified on artistic. Now go up to layout, insert page number on all pages, and you get this one. But this isn't exactly going to work because it's at the bottom of the page because Corel is numbering the page, so it's putting it at the bottom. So what you can do in this case is take your page size, and instead of making it 11 inches tall, make it 9.5 inches tall. The printer won't know any difference. Go up to Layout. Insert on all pages. And now, if you took this a rectangle and made it 8.5 by 11, I had my ratio locked, 8.5, and then put this at the top of your page, that number is going to appear right there and, and, and maybe nine and a half might be too tall. I can't really remember. I actually printed one off. I might have made it, you know, nine and a half uh, instead of uh, nine or I might, have, I might have made it 10. You can kind of play around with that. Then once you have that done, this is a little bit time consuming, but just add a page. And do that 250 times and watch what you're doing. I actually got off, but just do that 250 times. And then when you go to print, and I don't have a laser hooked up to this, but I do have it like it's a, and just print one through 29 pages, and it'll print that on paper exactly where you wanted it. And I would test it, you know, with the first one. I would actually put in the number 250 and see if it kind of fits on your page, your biggest number. You know, anything, you know, 200 would do it. But that's pretty easy, and it actually works really well because you're going to change the size of your paper, but your printer doesn't know any difference, and it's going to start printing here instead of down here. I hope that made sense, and thank you for watching.